Let's now proceed to our next lesson and last lesson for today, the continuity. When we say continuity, ano yung buong pasok sa isi? Continuous. So, tuloy-tuloy. Walang gaps. So, kung nuwari, um, nagsulat tayo, ibig sabihin, or nag-graph, tuloy-tuloy lang siya. Na? Wala tayong gap na ganyan. Or wala tayong hollow. Okay? So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon, the continuity. So, there are two types of discontinuity, the opposite of continuity. First one is the essential. A function is said to be or have an essential discontinuity if the limit of the function as x approaches the constant is, does not exist. So, wala siyang limit. Okay? Gaya nito, hindi eti siya. Although, from the left-hand limit, meron tayo, may value tayo, pero on the right side, meron din, yun nga lang, magkaiba. Diba? So, pag magkaiba yung limit natin, D and E. Okay? So, let's say the function here, or the h of x, is equal to x plus 1. If x is less than 4, less than 4, and yung isa naman, quantity x minus 4 squared plus 3, if x is greater than 4, ayan, papunta siya doon. Pero wala tayong limit, no? Does not exist. Pero, mapapansin ninyo, meron tayong value ng function. If we have f of 4, our value is, kasi nagka-shaded tayo dito. Okay? Then, removable discontinuity if the value of the function is does not exist. Kung kanina sa essential, meron tayong value of the function. Ito naman, wala tayong value of the function. Or, the, uh, the value of the function is not equal to the limit of the function. Okay? So ito, meron tayong value ni f of 1. Shaded tayo dito. And meron din tayo ditong limit. Coming from the left and from the right. So, yung limit natin dito nag-exist. Diba? Parehas lang sila. So, yun ang tinatawag nating removable discontinuity. Kaya yung mga previous graph natin, May mga na-encounter tayo yung ganito, may shaded, yung iba, ay nag-exist yung limit natin. Kasi yan po yung tinatawag natin, discontinuity. Okay, yung hole natin. And, good morning, Joshua. Nakarecord <laughs> <laughs> tayo ngayon, Joshua. Sorry. 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 Now, to apply, check natin, using this graph, evaluate if the graph is continuous at x is equal to 1 up to 6. Sabihin nyo ha, kung discontinuous or continuous siya. x is equal to 1. So, x is equal to 1. Yan, pag naglagay tayo ng broken line, tayo ba yung continuous yung graph natin? So, meron tayong hole. So, meaning, this one. Meron tayong discontinuity. Ito, o, nagkaroon tayo ng halo o hole. Okay? X is equal to 2. X is equal to 2. Ah, nagkaroon din tayo ng discontinuous dito. So, ito ay this. Baka may nagtatanong, eh sir, meron naman tayong shaded sa upper part. So, anong tawag sa discontinuity na yan? So, essential. So, although meron tayong value of a function, pero discontinuous tayo dito. 
Okay? Next, f of or x is equal to 3. Okay, discontinuous. Anong klase ng discontinuity? How about f of 4? Yan, wala tayo nakikita ang hollow. So this is? Anong DNE? Ano to? Marks na makuha dyan? Next, x is equal to 5. So, this is? Pansin natin sa 5. Yung graph natin, papalapit lang tayo ng papalapit kay 5 on the left and on the right, pero hindi po yan magbimit. So, continuous or discontinuous? Discontinuous. Number six. Sure kayo? Bakit? So, madali lang mag-determine kapag given yung graph. Okay? Pag-graph yung given. Now, paano kapag hindi nag-graph yung given? Let's say, a given function. So, meron tayong tinatawag na continuity test. Now, bago natin masasabi na continuous yung ating function, itetest muna natin siya. So, first, dapat the value of the function exist. No? Pag sinabstitute natin yung x natin, meron tayong makukuhang value. No? Hindi dapat siya mag undefined or kaya yun lang, hindi dapat siya mag undefined <laughs> <laughs> Hindi dapat magiging zero ang denominator. Second, the limit of the function exists. And last, the limit of the function is equal to the value of the function. O, mas maintindihan natin ito kapag i-apply natin. Okay, to apply our continuity test, we have here number 1, 2, and 3. Determine if the following functions are continuous. So, we have the given function, then at x is equal to 1. First test, the value of the limit must exist. Okay? So, pag sinabstitute natin si x, dapat may makukuha tayong value. So, yung test natin na letter A, kadali lang ito, substitute lang natin. P of, ang x daw natin ay, Okay? Now, palitan natin lahat ng x ng 1. will become 3 times 1 square minus plus 5. 3 times 1 square minus plus 5. 3 Minus 1, plus 5. So, this is now the value of the function. Meron tayong value. Nagets yun? B. Letter B. The limit of the function. So, limit. Ang function natin ay 3x squared minus x plus 5. As x approaches 1. Since this is a polynomial function, according to our theorem number 9, is a substitute. So, kung gusto natin i-apply yung uh, sum and difference, pwede din naman, hiwa-hiwalayin natin lahat. Pero yung shortcut natin, substitute. 
Sa majority, nagsasubstitute nga kasi yung pinakamadali. Pero may nakita ako so, dun sa worksheet number one, may mga ginawa yung process. Okay lang din naman yun. Kasi same lang yung magiging sagot. So, three times, one square, minus one, plus five. So, pansinin natin parehas. So, this is seven. Are they equal? Yes. Okay, so P of 1 or the P of X is equal to the limit of P of X as X approaches. Or since we by X plus So, lahat is satisfied. So, meaning this is. Gets nyo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, mas may gets yan pag mas madami example. Number 2 tayo. F of x is equal to 2 over x plus 1 at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to negative 1. I-test natin yung dalawa. Ito muna tayo. X is equal to 0. Una, the value of the function. So, f of 0 is equal to 2 over 0, zero plus 1. This is 2 over 1. Or simply, 2. How about the limit? Same ba? So, limit of 2 over x plus 1 as x approaches 0. So, same lang. Substitute natin. 2 over 1. Or, so, same sila. Equal yung limit ng f of x natin as we are Approaching A is equal to the F of X. So, meaning, continuous. Continuous at X is equal to 0. How about X is equal to negative 1? So, letter A, F of negative 1. Substitute natin, 2 over, ito pa din yung pinag-uusapan nating function. Negative 1 plus 1. This is 2 over 0. And 2 over 0 is? 0 ang denominator. Ano? <laughs> Assure to. Undefined. <laughs> undefined. This is undefined. Now, ibig sabihin ng undefined, yung ating value hindi nag exist So, ibig sabihin, letter A pa lang, alam na natin na discontinuous na siya. So, this continuous at x is equal to negative 1. Kahit hindi na natin i-check si b and c. Kasi a pa lang, mali na siya. Hindi na natin na-satisfy yung ating condition. Nakuha? Number 3, dalawa ulit x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 3. Patiin natin, ito muna tayo sa x is equal to 1. Letter A, g of 1. Kaya ba i-mental? So, 
Ano sa loob niya? Pag mental. So this is 2 over 1 minus 4. 1 minus 4 plus 3 0 undefined so automatic how about x is equal to 3 continuous is continuous So, two times three over twelve. Nine minus twelve. So negative Ayun. So, ganun lang ang pag-test kung siya ba ay discontinuous or continuous if we have the given polynomial. Nakuha? Yes. Madali? Okay. So, that ends our discussion. Yes.